in the past few days, Google Nano Banana Pro, Flux 2 and Z Image went live. So let's dive in and compare them with 15 must-try prompts. The first prompt is technical infographic overlay on a realistic photograph of Golden Gate Bridge. And this is Nano Banana Pro and it looks great as expected. So we have the whole Golden Gate Bridge. All of the annotations are completely correct. Everything is right. So not uh, one spelling error or anything. So we have main cable cross, suspension cables. This really looks amazing. So then we have Flux 2 Pro and this also looks great. So Golden Gate is here. All of the text is completely right and all of the annotations are very nice and intriguing to the eye. So great job from Flux 2 Pro. And then we have Z image by Alibaba. So the same company behind Van Video Generator. So this font and text looks okay, Golden Bridge. And then a lot of different annotations that again from distance looks okay. But when you close up and zoom, you see that most of the font is not correct actually. So the clear winner here is actually Nano Banana as expected. Then we need to try JSON prompting of a beautiful brunette woman in the car. So here is the image and it looks beautiful and it actually follows the prompt completely. So we said that the right hand should be on the steering wheel. Then we said that she had to have red nails holding her head looking at the camera and in the car and everything looks completely great and the details and I mean great job from Nano Banana Pro. So Flux also nailed this one. She is in a car, she is beautiful in a jeans holding her head but I think we said that her right hand should be at the steering wheel, now her left hand is and the nails are also correct. I mean, this is just slight details. The image looks really great. And then the Z image, also amazing job. So the nails, the jeans, the car, the position. So everything is adhering to the prompt. So if you look at those three side by side, I mean, they're all great. Perhaps Nano Banana is a winner because of the complete 100% prompt adherence. Now one extremely interesting prompt on behind the scenes of filmic Titanic with Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. So here is the scene, look at those details. So the guy really looks like Leo and she really looks like Kate Winslet and her face is completely blue because she's cold. Everything in the scene looks great. And then we have, you know, safety diver, VFX marker, camera A, all of the kind of a behind the scenes as I was prompting that. So this is next level from Nano Banana Pro. Now this image is amazing, but this is not Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, but all of the annotations for the, you know, cameras, safety, VFX marker, those looks pretty good. And this pool is also amazing. Look at the fog here and everything. Now Z image made a scene kind of a <laughs> different. So she is lying here alone by herself in the tiny pool cameras is there but you know it also looks pretty interesting but for sure nano banana pro is a winner here now we also need to try uncensored prompts or not safe for work prompts as you could imagine nano banana pro does not allow that flux 2 pro is allowing uncensored prompts but it will not generate uncensored image as you can see and finally z image is completely uncensored you can create whatever you want of course i needed to blur out everything here for the youtube policies now let's try macro close-up photography nano banana pro extremely good close-up look at all of those details so i can zoom and find all of those little hairs on the on this orange rope and the needle all of the scratches on the needle, this is extremely great. Then look at the Flux 2 Pro, also intricate details, everything is here, we can zoom in pretty much deep and all of the details on the needle and everywhere looks really great. Z image, not so much details, but still pretty good job, especially considering how fast it is and how cheap it is. Now let's try to create kind of a natural selfie with image quality that is grainy and that feels really unpolished. So look at the details of this girl taking a selfie in the mirror and all of the mess here behind in the room that was in the prompt and you know the messy mirror kind of a really looks grainy photo and unpolished. You would never say this was created by AI. Amazing. Now Flex 2 Pro, I would even say that this is perhaps better than Nano Banana. Look at how this photography looks real and old school. I mean, all of the details on the, on the bed here, the messiness, the really blurry photography. Flux 2 really improved its game. And the image by far created the best looking girl here. And also all of the details on the bed 
looks pretty good. It is very clear picture, not so much grainy as it was in Nano Banana or in Flux 2 Pro, but I really can't say anything against it. So if you look at three images side by side, I don't know, you decide which one is better here. Of course, I need to try every AI image generator with the glass of red wine full to the brim and the analog clock. So Nano Banana is finally able to fill the glass completely to the brim. Look at all of the details and the clock is here looking nice but not showing the exact time from the prompt. So Flux is still having problems with the full glass of red wine and the analog clock is not showing the correct time. Here you can see that it's actually written 345. The same goes with Z image, pretty good image, but you know, the glass is not completely full and the time here is not correct. Now one interesting and complicated prompt of a top-down isometric miniature 3D cartoon scene of a city. Nano Banana Pro excelled in this as expected. So the Paris looks great. Here we have the temperature. Of course, all the fonts and everything is correct. This is great isometric miniature. Couldn't be better. Flux 2 Pro also looks great. So here we have the Eiffel Tower. Here we have nice temperature, but it's written down city here instead of the Paris. But nonetheless, all of the details here and the buildings and the cars, great isometric image. So the image looks nice, but we have some gibberish text here. And yeah, it is certainly here on the third place. Then let's test real moment in the artist studio. So in Nano Banana Pro, artist is really kissing the painting nicely. And look at how great her hand is here coming alive of the picture and touching him here. His clothing is completely covered with the paint, but really looks very nice. Then Flux 2 Pro, by my opinion, this is better than Nano Banana Pro in this specific example because look at how she is coming alive from the image, her hair, face and then touching the artist and his clothes are amazing. Z image also great job, so even her legs are here if you can see that going down from the image from the picture. The artist also looks realistic and she is coming alive from the image. So if you look at those three side by side, I would say Flux is the winner and then perhaps Nano Banana Pro and Z sharing the second place. Then we need to have fun with some games, so ultra realistic Zootopia game footage. So here is our Zootopia in Google Nano Banana. Looks amazing. Look at all of those details, walking on the streets, enlightening some of the garbage cans and everything that is happening. Here we have the map, stamina and the quest find the missing other. This would look great if we animate into the video. Let's look at it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I created all images for all different models in Someca AI and I also created this video. So you might check out link in the description down below for additional credits. Flux 2 Pro looks also amazing, very similar to Google Nano Banana. We have a map, but there is some gibberish font here. So Flux still has a problems with font. And then we have Z image, also pretty good looking image representing the game. But I would say overall here is Nano Banana winner. Then a prompt regarding a detailed flow chart of how sausages are made. Nano Banana nailed it here. So the sausage genesis here we have the peak going into some weird kind of a machine. Then we have this machine, Sausage Omatic 5000, volcanic smoke. <laughs> Imagination from Nano Banana is on another level. What are those two guys doing here? <laughs> Amazing imagination also from Flux 2, so ridiculously complicated sausage machine. Well, let's try to find the start. Gigantic grinder. <laughs> Here there are some people. Experimental lab. Extremely, extremely good. Someone should make a living creating those funny flow charts. And then we have Z image. We have sages here and not sausages. But you know, it looks kind of a more realistic what is actually happening with sausages. So we boil them, we do, I don't know what is happening here blush shears some weird gibberish words but again flowchart looks nice for sure the winner is nano banana pro now let's create a big polar bear walking alongside a woman extremely realistic and cinematic image from nano banana look at the bear the cloudy sky there and the woman having this clothes very satisfying and very great image flux too also the bear looks nice the cloudy skies the ice 
and her wandering eyes. Extremely good job from Flux to Pro. And Z image also performed great here. So I really don't know which of those three would look the best. If we put them side by side, really it's a tie here. That kind of a futuristic prompt that would be in Vogue magazine cover. Nano Banana actually placed the text of Vogue and the future of elegance. And they're holding this magic ball with the futuristic glasses. This is 2066. Very nice. Flux 2 Pro, great glasses. They're holding this magic ball. Also extremely good image. And then we have Z image generator. And all of those three look pretty similar. I cannot say anything wrong about any of them. Now let's try tree view layout image. Nano Banana is of course excelling here. So we have front view, great side view, accurate back view also. And then we have close up and it even added the character description. If we see the fonts and everything, lean, tone, athletic, body with defined muscles, everything is correct here. Great job. Flux 2 Pro made her more like a female hero from a kind of a animated characters from kind of a cartoon, front view, very athletic body, side view, back view, very, very athletic body, and nice close up. And then we have Z image, front view, side view, close up, <laughs> close up is actually back view here. She has some problems here with their eyes, but once again, good job, but overall Nano Banana Pro is a winner here. Now, once again, ultra realistic macro photograph taken by a microscopic camera small enough for an ant to carry. Nano Banana, the details here are amazing. Look at the leaf and the little hairs on the leaf and also the droplet of water. And here we have blurry ant. Just a couple of weeks back, this would not be possible at all. Extreme details on Flux Pro. This is absolutely amazing macro photography, extreme close up. And we don't see the ant as we should not see it because it was not in the prompt. I said just like the ant is carrying the camera. So this is actually better than Nano Banana Pro from Flux. Let's look at the Z image. Also great details. Here we have the ant drinking water, but yeah, still pretty, pretty good. Now let's also play with an iPhone and a cake. So the image from Nano Banana looks nice, but not exactly completely like it was bitten from the iPhone that is made out of this biscuit cake. Then we have Flux 2 Pro and this one looks much better. When you see this cut through the iPhone and the bite, it really looks amazing and realistic. So Flux 2 Pro here is better for sure. And then we have the image where we have nice little piece of cake dropped onto the iPhone. So I would say overall from all 15 generations, Nano Banana Pro is the winner. It really creates amazing, amazing images, except of censorship, of course. Then we have Flux 2 Pro, which is almost as good as Nano Banana Pro. And then we also have new Z image Turbo as a super fast text image model with 6 billion parameters developed by Tongi Mai, so Alibaba. And it really performs pretty good, but it's not yet at the level of Nano Banana Pro, at least with some of the images, but with many, it is pretty good. For example, with this one. Please tell me down in the comments, which one did you prefer? Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.